What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we are going to tackle one of the most challenging, maybe even the hardest aspects of rock climbing, of this wonderful sport, which is how to rock climb with a girl. We, Mona and I, we, we decided to make this video because we made a couple of experiences in, the, in recent times where you know we saw, especially couples, when they climb together, I've got here my little piece of paper with uh, notes on so that I don't forget anything, that don't, so that we don't forget something. And I would start with the first, um, you know, the first step is probably the description of the route. You know, when you're both together and you're looking at the rock and let's say you want, you want your girl to attack this certain route because you know it's nice, you know it's beautiful, it doesn't have too many reachy moves in there and it's not too hard for her or something. How will you sell that route, so to say, to her? And you know, guys often will say then, it's not scary at all, you will do it easily, you will see. You know, you can go there, you don't have to have fear of falling or anything. It's not hard at all, you will see, you will do it easily. It's not reachy at all, you will do it easily. And in my experience, this is uh, the probably the wrong strategy to go about things because Think about it this way, there is a huge potential for failure then, because if it's super easy and not hard at all, but she can't do it despite that, then it's a huge frustration, you know. In, on the other hand, if you tell, if you say from right from the beginning, hey, you know, this is a challenging route, it's a hard route, but it's very interesting. It's got this super reachy move, you know, you, if you did the route already, then you know there is this one reachy move in there, which is for you maybe no problem, but Let's face it, the reality is that girls are often a bit shorter than guys. And in my personal opinion, this is actually the most important aspect why most girls have it a little bit harder on rock, because actually they are lighter and they have smaller fingers, so they have certain advantages over us guys normally. But yeah, they are very short, so huge moves are a huge challenge for them. So if you say, hey, there is this Richie move, you know, it becomes kind of a challenge for her to try it despite all these challenges. And it's not such a huge potential for failure then, it's rather a potential for a huge success, you know, and if it doesn't work, then it's not a, not a big problem because it's a hard route, right? So I don't know, what do you think about that move? <laughs> um, yeah, if you know it's hard, in the first place then you are okay with yourself if you struggle and if you don't make it but if you think it's easy and if you think okay i'm gonna go through it in just one try and then it <laughs> doesn't work it's frustrating <laughs> <laughs> you said it's easy but it's yeah. not <laughs> <laughs> yeah something along these lines you know and then we have next question should you let them top rope if they want to or should they um, you know should you push them to go for a lead go if you know they could actually do it but um, you know with lead you have this additional factor of fear of falling and stuff and this is much less on, on a top rope attempt so how do you think about that should you let them top rope I like top roping <laughs> the last time <laughs> because you can um, get to know the route yeah. Um, and you can maybe make it first try leading afterwards. The thing is, you know, a lot of guys try to avoid the top rope thing because very often the project of the guy is not the project of the girl. And if, they, if the girl wants the top rope, then they have to put the top rope up for them, <laughs> right? So they want to avoid this kind of effort. But the thing is, a top rope is very useful in that regard, I think, with, with decreasing fear of falling and stuff, because then they can check out the route first in top rope and, you know, get to get used to the moves, maybe see that uh, without fear of falling, the moves are actually no problem for them, you know, in a real physical way. It's just a mental way that is a problem. And then if, the, if you get them to make a lead go and they struggle all of a sudden with the moves, because then the additional mental factor is there, then you can convince them easily to do a fall training, which will get rid of the mental factor, you know, much easier than anything else. So I think the top rope is a really useful tool in that regard, but you know, you have to do the effort, you have to do the additional miles if the top, if the, if the project of you is not the project of the girl, you know. 
otherwise you have to learn projecting I had to or I still do because I liked to go routes I can do in one go and then okay another route one go and projecting is really hard because you always fail exactly <laughs> and when exactly. I started projecting with money um, I always failed and he was like wow super move great yeah. <laughs> and I was like wow I cannot go any further <laughs> it was not good it's a very but interesting you have subject, to learn yeah. that it's not a fail if you can do one move or two yeah. and this was hard for me because I was always frustrated when projecting yeah and very interesting point yeah you know for us it's we are already used to this projecting stuff where we sit you, in the uh, harness <laughs> <laughs> yeah where we sit in the harness 95 percent of the time you know uh, for someone who has a more um how i should say another approach to the sport you just want to climb you just want to enjoy the scenery and make some beautiful moves you know projecting is not the the first thing you think of you just want to climb and want to have a success event and stuff like that next question should you let them down if they want to should you push them i think you you made a go good point when you wrote down there mm -hmm. you should take them seriously let me rest means let them rest let me down means let them down maybe a little more push and then let them down <laughs> <laughs> if they say it's too hard it's too hard, you know, they are shouting down, it's too hard for me, don't you understand it? And don't say, no, it's easy, you're just doing it wrong. No, that's the wrong approach. You say, yes, it's hard, you're right, it's super hard. <laughs> it's amazing that you got there where you got, you know, but it's super hard, you're right. So yeah, let them, what do you think about that? When I first or started climbing with, with many, I was surprised because I was climbing and I wanted to sit I wanted to rest and I shouted down let me rest and he um, closed the I don't know, <laughs> the delaying device <laughs> and he let me rest and I was like oh did he just really take me serious and it was <laughs> it was great because yeah Very I wasn't often, used to yeah. this because I don't like it if 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 I am in panic and let me rest and they mm -hmm. say no just try on that <laughs> When I want to rest, I want to rest. But maybe you have to find the, the right point because sometimes it's good if you push one more time because they can really do it, but sometimes it's good to... Just it's a very, very <laughs> fine sweet spot that you have to hit here. And if in doubt, then rather take them serious. Let them rest, let them down if they want to come down. I learned this the hard way myself. The thing is... Um, even if you know it better for them, okay? And even if you, if you know, you, know you, you think better. you know it better. <laughs> and you think they would actually make it if they would just try it one more time. Then you were right in the end, but then if she comes down, she would have to admit that you were right. And they don't want that. <laughs> they don't want to admit that you were right, okay? So it's a lose-lose situation for you. Even if you're right and you win the argument, it's not about winning arguments here, it's about making a good experience for yes. your climbing partner, you know? And if they come down and then you took them serious and they come down and even you, you know you, they could have done it, then they at least, you know, they have still the rock is the, is the enemy and not you, okay? They don't have, the, they don't have to fight against the rock and you you are the team with her and you have you can fight against the rock together okay so this is the this is the general vibe that you want to get at here and then the question should you push them i would say rather try to praise them okay if they if they do a sequence that's hard praise them that they have done the sequence great and um yeah obviously if it helps then push them as well you know keep motivating them and stuff like that but if they accomplish uh, some success then praise them for it and tell them that that's great okay because sometimes people just push and push and push and push and the girl is already doing super nice moves and super nice sequences but she doesn't get any reward from that you know if you just keep pushing her up then it's, it shows her that you're not not uh, satisfied. yeah you're not <laughs> satisfied with them and you're not valuating the success that they already accomplished. 
And I think it feels good if you if you climb and if you do something and he or whoever is down there sees that you did it well. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's again, it's, it's making this, uh, it creates an environment where you together work as a team against the rock, which is the enemy. Mm -hmm. It's always cool to have the rock as an enemy because the rock is silent, you know. <laughs> the rock doesn't do anything, the rock is... The rock cannot argue with your girl. If, if the rock is the enemy of your girl, then you're in the safe zone, okay? <laughs> they can battle it out. Once you're the enemy of your girl, then it's getting interesting because, I mean, interesting, this is what you should avoid, okay? Because this is a pointless fight. You just want to have a good time together and, um, yeah, see the rock as the enemy. And the rock is a pretty tough enemy because he doesn't, he, he, you know, he girls... Give in. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't give in. Girls are very used to, you know, being in princess mode, you know? When they, <laughs> when they want something, they are used to get it. Especially if they are pretty and cute and nice, you know, and, and polite. The rock doesn't give in. Rock, rock doesn't care about all these things, you know. And this is, this is, I think, one of the tough aspects for girls very often in rock climbing. And there's one, one, one more thing that comes to my mind. If she is struggling with a, with a situation and you are trying to describe what she has to do, wait for the right point because if I'm already trying to get up there I cannot listen to you and it's just annoying when you're shouting up no it's to the right it's to the left da, da, da. Um, but if I'm open if I'm maybe looking down and waiting for you to help me then I can take what you're saying and also one more thing to add maybe there is often a tendency in guys to push girls in their projects into their projects Okay. Very often, not always, but very often, the guys are just a bit stronger on rock than girls. Then, as maybe they're, more they're, they're fearless. yeah, maybe more fearless as well. Already have Fallen. more experience with the sport. You know, they are trying to drag their girlfriend into the sport and getting her to like it actually because it's actually amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, don't try to. You know, Don't try to rather, <laughs> rather pick routes which are too easy for them, okay, than the other way around. You already know that you make more progress and stuff like that if you try harder routes, that's true. But it's not, it's not about that for her most of the time, okay. For her it's about having a good time and being outdoors, being in nature, being together in nature and stuff like that. And for this uh, aspect, you, you should rather pick the easier routes for them. But again, it's more effort, you know, then you have to put up a top rope. It's not your project, you know, so go the extra mile. Really yeah, and pays let off. her choose as well. Let her choose as well, of course. <laughs> you yeah. don't have to choose for her. That's Even, true. Uh, maybe if she asks. It's just very too. often the case that guys already know the crag, you know, they already know the warm up routes and stuff like that. So. They think they know better. <laughs> they think they know better, but <laughs> might be the point. Just pick uh, routes which are doable. Okay, not your project. Anything else? I think have we a good made. Time together. Yeah, have a good time together. I think we made all the points, which uh, remind we her to enjoy to make. climbing. That's yeah. what you do sometimes when I'm struggling. But it's beautiful route and look around. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, the camera is already ticking. We'll see you soon in the next one. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment.